I actually just watched The Undertaker's debut match again today, back when he was known as Kane the Undertaker with Brother Love as his manager. And you, looking jacked, actually wrestled him on that day. But I heard you say on the Cheap Heat podcast, which thank I thank them for hooking uh, us up, that My that brother man, Maurice. Yeah, yeah, Maurice, great guy, and I've done his show yeah. too. But that was taped before the Survivor Series, so the, the crowd didn't even know who The Undertaker was. And to you, that could have been a gimmick that succeeded or failed. Yeah, I mean, the question... The question I always I always get is, did you know the Undertaker was going to be that big? I go, no, I didn't. I go, I was also big bully Busick's debut match. Remember him? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, you know, I, like he lasted maybe a year. No, I didn't know Mark was going to be that big. But uh, and everybody always wants to know the interaction and and everything like that. So I'm going to give everybody a secret right now, and. And they're going to watch it and go, oh, my God. Oh, my God, he's right. So I hope the strong bone and I look up on, on the board and it says Undertaker v. Mancini. Hey, hey, Chief, now, now, Hannibal, I got a mouth now, man. I've been there for six years. You know, I got respect. To the guys that are over are talking to me now, and you know, I'm one of them. So I go, who's the Undertaker? He goes, that guy over there. His name is Mark. I go, God damn, he's tall, man. I said, all right. So he goes, yeah, go talk to him. I go, all right. So I go up to him. I go, hey, you Mark? He goes, yeah. I go, Mario Mancini, how you doing? I go, I'm working with you tonight. He goes, yeah. I go, what's your finish? He goes, a tombstone. I go, what is that? He goes, it's a reverse pile driver. I go, oh, I took a lot of them against Morocco. I go, that's Morocco's finish. Probably didn't like that, right? I said, that's Morocco's finish. I took a lot of those from him. So I go, that's good. Anything uh, in particular? Because hello, wrestlers of 2022. Even in a house show, all you got was the finish. That's it. You did everything in the ring. There was no, we're going to lock up. I'm going to push you in the ropes. I'm going to throw you off. And uh, me, Myself and Tony Atlas one time were in a dressing room listening to this tag team going over a match. And I looked at Alice, I go, how are they going to remember all that? He goes, I don't know, brother. You can't talk to him, though. He goes, don't don't bother. So they're going over the match. And I go, hey, hey, guys, guys, guys. And they look over at me. I go, why don't you just throw in what time you got up, what you had for breakfast, what time you got in your car to come here, how many red lights you had to stop. I go, why don't you just throw all that in, too? So, so he tells me, I go, anything in particular you want to do, Mark? He goes, well, I'm going to walk the top rope. I go, how tall are you? He goes, 6'10". I go, you're going to walk the top rope? He goes, yeah. But Mario, you got to keep your elbow locked out because if you your elbow collapses, I'm going to fall off the top rope. I go, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. You're you're good. He's like, all right. I go, anything else? He goes, yeah, I'm going to close the line backwards over the top rope. You've done that, right? I go, yeah. He goes, all right, that's it. So now I walk away and I sit down and I go, I've never gone over the top rope backwards, ever. Nobody ever taught me. I'm like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm 5'11 in my wrestling boots. 5'11 and a half gives me an inch. So I'm sitting there pondering this thing, Hannibal, and I go, you know what? If my waist is level with the top rope. When he clotheslines me, I'll go right over. I'll go right over. So now he chokes me, pushes me against the ropes. The referee tells him to break the choke. He looks over at the referee and takes a couple steps toward him like he's going to do something to him. I push the top rope down. I even look behind me to make sure it was going to hit anything. I push it. Nobody catches it until I tell this story. I push the top rope down. I go, <laughs> and he closes eyes me. He closes eyes me. I go, beautifully, right over, backwards, right onto the floor. But until I tell people that I did that, they go, let me go back and watch that. 
And then they, they see me push down the top rope. So it's level with my waist. So I go right over when he closed lines me. And they even see me look behind, they look behind me to make sure I'm not going to bump through chairs. <laughs> I, I watched that match just like an hour before I did this. And I remember that was a cool spot because he just goes from talking to the ref to just turning around right and whacking you like that right um, and right. it looked flawless so well, yeah I did you catch me pushing the top rope down? i did it but i am going to go back and watch <laughs> but one thing i did notice from that like he had the character down really good for yeah. for a first match other than he celebrated maybe a bit more at the end than he yeah. did in later matches yeah but i was wondering how much it would have been planned because it you could tell that they were we're really going to put an effort into that character. So it's interesting. Right. Nowadays, they would have walked you through every step before you actually did that. From, it, it turns my stomach because from what I understand, all the matches are scripted. And if you throw in something extra, you're in a lot of trouble. I could never work like that. Never. I remember like, and it was 15 years ago. So I can imagine it was worse. Now I did an enhancement match for hide and right. And I was allowed two punches and I have a good chop and I asked him if I could chop him and I was will. I told him to hit me as hard as he wanted and so forth. Uh, so he, he knew that I was going to like allow him to get over and he wanted to let me chop him. And we went to the agent and the agent said, if you chop him, you're never going to get booked here again. So like you can't even throw in something as simple as a chop 